Have you ever wondered what really happens to that pizza you just ate? Where does it go after that one big bite? How does your body turn it into energy and what happens to the leftovers? Well, today we are going to travel inside your body and see the amazing journey of food through the human digestive system. So sit tight because this is one journey that literally begins in your mouth. Digestion is the process by which our body breaks down the food we eat into smaller soluble forms that can be absorbed and used for energy, growth and repair. In simple words, digestion changes that pizza into full for your body. And the whole process involves a long tube-like pathway called the alimentary canal along with many digestive glands. So the journey of food begins right here in the mouth. As soon as you take that delicious bite of pizza, your teeth starts the work of mechanical digestion, chewing and breaking the food into smaller pieces. At the same time, your salivary glands release saliva. Saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase. It starts breaking down starch from the pizza base into simple sugars. Your tongue mixes the food with saliva and helps in swallowing it, turning it into a soft ball-like mixture called a bolus. Now the bolus is ready to slide down the next path, the esophagus. The esophagus or food pipe is like a soft muscular slide. It doesn't digest food but it pushes it downward toward the stomach through rhythmic movements called peristalsis, like squeezing toothpaste out of a tube. Now comes the real magic, the stomach. As the food enters, the stomach releases gastric juice, a mix of hydrochloric acid, pepsin enzyme and mucus. Let's see what each one does. Hydrochloric acid kills germs and creates an acidic environment. Pepsin starts digesting proteins like cheese from your pizza. And mucus protects the stomach walls from the acid. The stomach also churns the food, turning it into a semi-liquid substance called chyme. After a few hours, this chyme slowly moves into the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the digestive system, around 6 meters long. And it's where most of the digestion and absorption actually happens. Here, the chyme meets three very important digestive juices. Bile from the liver, which is stored in the gallbladder. Now, this bile, it breaks down fats into smaller droplets and the process is called emulsification. Second is pancreatic juice, which is secreted from the pancreas. Now, this pancreatic juice contains enzymes to digest carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Next is intestinal juice, which is secreted by the walls of the intestine. Now, this completes the digestion of food into simple substances like glucose, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol. These small molecules are then absorbed by finger-like projections called villi, which increase the surface area for absorption. From here, nutrients enter the bloodstream and are transported to every cell in the body. After the nutrients are absorbed, what remains now are mostly water and waste materials. This moves into the large intestine. Here, most of the water is absorbed back into the body and the undigested food is converted into semi-solid waste, what we call feces. Finally, it passes through the rectum and is eliminated through the anus. And that completes our digestion journey. Let me share a few amazing facts about your digestive system. 
Did you know your stomach produces 2 to 3 liters of gastric juice every single day? The acid in your stomach is so strong it could dissolve a razor blade. But don't worry, mucus protects it. The food you eat can take anywhere between 24 to 72 hours to complete digestion. And even while you are asleep, your digestive system keeps working 24/7. So yes, that pizza you enjoyed tonight is still traveling through your body, keeping you alive and energetic. So, let's quickly recap what we have learned today. Digestion begins in the mouth. continues through the esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine and finally ends at the anus each organ and enzyme plays a specific role in breaking food into simple forms that can be absorbed by our body isn't it fascinating how our body turns food into fuel if you enjoyed this video do give it a like and share it with your friends and don't forget to watch my previous video on the human nervous system link is right here in the next video we will explore another amazing system of your body so stay tuned and keep learning with curiosity